All right. So it's three o'clock. What's going on? A special show, special guest here, and Ada Rivas, who uh, we've got a com- who is our commencement coordinator and director of event services and uh, facility rentals. And we're she's on to uh, discuss plans and preparations for the 2022 commencement. Welcome. Oh, you're cra- Hold on a second, Anita. I'm not hearing you. Is it me? Are you muted, Anita? Check your. Am I the only one that can't hear you? All right. So, what happened? I don't see you. I kind of hear you, and then I don't hear you. You're not wearing a head. You're not wearing headphones, or you're just talking to your computer. On the. Did you hear that, Anita? Chris is trying to send you. Oh, there you go. Now you hear you. Okay. Okay. So let's try. Can you hear me now? Totally. totally. Okay, great. There's some. There's, some, there's a. Little, there's a li- there's, there's my echo, echo and, a and a little bit of, of uh, some, some sort of just some noise. Some noise. Yep, that that's it's my refrigerator. Back. Oh my gosh. It's a loud hum. Yeah. All right, okay. we'll go from there. So welcome. Thank you, thank you. It's nice to be here and uh, talking about my favorite event of the year, which is graduation. Um, and this is our 50th annual commencement ceremony. So. Uh, College is celebrating 50 years, and this is the 50th graduating class. So lots of exciting things happening. We we graduated somebody in the very first year. No, we graduated uh, someone in. Uh, we we graduated about 30 uh, uh, students. They were like in the in, in the death program in 72. Right. So, but so if you count, then that because the, the college started in 71 72 would have been the first graduating class and you count if you count forward from there this is the 50th okay uh so and if this is the first time we are going to have a physical uh graduation yeah. since the since pandemic the pandemic yeah this is yeah so. so a lot of a lot of uh precautions are, are being taken um by by us and of course Queens College um, to mitigate um, anyone getting ill um, because it is although it's going to be outdoors um, it's a lot of people gathering together. So when we talk about that, what are what what can we? I mean, I know for example, I'm as a marshal. Mm-hmm. We're going to go out on Thursday, mm-hmm. and uh, one of the things I'm going to ask about is parking <laughs> <laughs> <Wow>. because. <laughs> Yeah, I know that's insane because I've, I've been out. And you, know, you can get to Queens College. I mean, mm-hmm. what did I do the last time? I think I took the E to s- some station. Yeah, not the, not Street the, and, and switch to right. the R and, and, and you took that into well, Main Street and then you had to take a bus. No, I took a bus from, from the E and it was actually okay. pretty good, like the okay. Q64. Okay. It dropped me off right on, what's that avenue that's in the, what the, the front? That's Casena. Casena. Casena Boulevard, and I walked just a couple of blocks mm-hmm. to the front entrance, and I, I was where the student union is. I think that's where we're meeting, right? Uh, is that where we're going? Uh, yeah. Well, uh, no, you're going through uh, Gate 3, which is on Reeves Avenue and 153rd. The, the marshals are the on, marshals, on Thursday? Everybody, all faculty, staff. Um, and yeah, no, I'm talking guys. about on Thursday. On Thursday, you come <laughs> You got to tell me which one, because I uh, press a button, I answer. No, on, on, uh, on Thursday, you're coming in through the main entrance on Casano Boulevard, yes. And we're meeting in but, front of Kylie Hall. But everybody else, on the day of the on event. On the day of the event, the students come in on the main entrance, the students and their families. Faculty, right. staff, and VIP guests enter through Gate 3, which is on Reeves Avenue and 153rd Street. It's on the side. It's on the side of Horace Harding Expressway. 
Right. And what time we what time do we have to be there? The, well, uh, the faculty uh, staff. And, well, and regular folks, faculty and marshals. staff. Who, the marshals have to be there for seven. Ouch. Yeah. Well, <laughs> my my team is meeting there at six. So. Yes, yes. And now, you know, my thing too, because I mean, what's different this year for me is I have to, first I have to get to the city, which is going to be a couple hours, and then I got to get out there. Oh, wow. So, yeah, my, it's, an, it's a nightmare. Some overnight That's, arrangements. I'm sleeping over my sister's. I could. Well, yeah, yeah, I know. Well, the last <laughs> I time I slept on Michael Rodriguez's couch I, my, for a week, I, I threw out my back. <laughs> We'll see what, yeah, because I'll be teaching. I think I, no, 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 that'll be it. The grades are already, the grades will be in. So it's completely different. It's, it'll be completely different. But uh, what's the date again here? Wait a minute, I forgot. So that is, and it falls on what day of the week? Tuesday. Tuesday. Okay, so that's very different. I could, yeah, I'll be, I can, I can set myself up for that. And the Monday's a holiday, so. Mon what is it? It's um, Juneteenth. Oh, that's right. That's right. The 20th. Yeah. So this falls. It's supposed to be the it's Sunday is really the Juneteenth, but the 20th right, is when, when we're when celebrating. We, when we have off, yeah. We yeah, have off so, the Friday before. So we got a four day weekend before. Grade. Well, I got grades. Oh, that's because the summer schedule has already begun. Yeah. Right? Yeah. CUNY pulled a fast one. What do you mean? Well, you know, they normally it's like the the week of. Well, it's it's the following week that we start summer Fridays. They right. started a week early this year. Did they do that to give everybody a four day weekend? I have no idea why. Yeah, they're yeah, we're on our own calendar and they're on theirs. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's the twenty first mm -hmm. and marshals are showing up at at six, seven AM. Six and seven. Back Some marshals are everybody seven. else is showing up at nine. Right. And what when are we expecting students to show up? The students will show up. <laughs> They'll show up <laughs> early. <laughs> they'll, they'll be there probably at six. There'll be some that'll be there at six, but we're telling them to arrive, uh, to plan to arrive about 7.30. And the reason is because you have to go through the security checkpoint. You have to show your admission ticket. You have to show a proof wait, of vaccination. Forgot. I forgot, I have all that stuff to show. I had for show and tell today. Oh, okay. Let me go grab it, hold okay. on a second. He's going to show us his vaccination uh, uh, CDC card or cleared for something like that. Cool. Sorry, gang. I was, uh, I should have been prepared for this. We were so, so here's my ticket. Uh huh. I've got a golden ticket. There you go. There you go. Absolutely beautiful. So I got to bring this. You got to bring that. Or on your phone, but but it's nice to have yeah. it printed in case you know technology fails us. Your cleared for or your original CDC uh, card, beautiful. Oh yeah, or or, or my cleared for. Yeah. I can't use my Lagu I you can't can use my use LaGuardia. The LaGuardia. Yes, with the green border. Yes. Here, let's make that happen. Here, okay. just showing. We're doing this kind of like walkthrough for everybody, right? So I can use the thing that that goes green around right. my name. Exactly. Like this, it always takes time for it to pop up. Hey, bam! Yeah. So I can do don't this. Have that, your original CDC card or uh, Excelsior pass or anything that shows that you're vaccinated. Or the QR, the cleared four that you talked about. Exactly, exactly. So right. everybody's got to do that, um, and you know it might take a little while to get through security because uh, they're going right. to be checking at the gates. So that's why I have people coming in at staggered times. I also don't want to, like, I want people to be able to, those that are working, um, especially the, the marshals and volunteers, if I have them come in staggered, they can grab a cup of coffee, get something to eat, and then report to their uh, stations. And then another group is coming in, and they're out of the way. There's going to be food? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, just like like breakfast, snacky breakfast stuff. Breakfast, snacky kind of thing. stuff. And you, you don't get lunch. I, I was waxing poetic the other day with uh, Karen, my Karen McKeon, my my right. uh, my colleague. Um, remember way back when we were in Madison Square Garden and we had prime rib for lunch. <laughs> like, I don't know if I remember 
Were we? Oh, we, yeah, because we, we're not an MSG, but we were in like that theater that was part of MSG. I can't remember what it was. Um, um, uh, Radio City Music Hall. Well, we did Radio City Music Hall as well, but we did like MSG. I forget that the, there's a name for the theater at MSG. Um, uh, it's called the theater. It was a theater. Yeah, I forgot. Well, I forgot what it is. But it was called the theater at MSG. Yeah. I mean, yeah, right. We, yeah. So, but that, th those are the old oh, days. The <laughs> old days. And I think we even had, did we, we might have even had booze in those days. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we had wine and beer, um, but they did have a bar. So if you wanted her to go next door and, and grab a cocktail or something, you could. Right, but those days are those gone. Those days are gone. All right. So everybody's showing up and about. And so everybody, so I got this too. Here's my other. Oh, cool. We were supposed to have gotten our, you know, I haven't even opened this thing up. <laughs> so I could probably open it up here on the show yeah. and make sure. So, but w what about folks who have not, like some, so some, some folks, so we had the option. Are, we could you know, gotten... they, they don't know what their schedules are or whatever. Um, they could, anybody who wants to attend graduation and right. uh, has not ordered a cap and gown and, and wants to process in, 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 in the processional can, can pick up a cap and gown on any of the distribution dates. And that is the 13th, 14th, oh. 15th, and 16th of June in the gym. Wonderful. So that, oh, so people are coming in for that. So look, ooh, my hood. Yeah. There it is. Fine, my fine arts hood, brown. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what this is. This, it says it's important. <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to do with that. I'm supposed to read that, I guess. <laughs> what else have we got in here? You gotta have your gown. I gotta have my gown. Well, wait, cap. first, there's the, there's there, the so the cap. And the cap is there. The cap is in there. I'm not gonna touch it because I'll get it filthy. Mm -hmm. But there it is. Oh, yeah, so. See that enveloped. And then my gown. I kept threatening to wear my Slytherin robes. <laughs> you know, because when we when I went to Harry Potterville in Florida, I bought my Slytherin robes. And uh, and they they work, but they don't have the cap. And everybody go, where'd you go to school? Hogwarts. <laughs> and I'd bring my wand. Cool. But I didn't think I didn't know if that'd go over. So I like to I would like to be legitimate. All right. So they have ordered them. Some people can pick up. What about if people didn't do even that? Or will there be stuff available on the day no. of at the nope. site? Nope. So that's it. That's it. Either pick up on have, campus or that's it. And if they didn't order, they could pick there's gonna be extras on campus yes. that somebody rent right yes, there. Absolutely. So everybody's gotta show up with their their stuff. Yes. Now, I mean People can come as a, as a guest and sit in the audience, but they need to right. RSVP now. They can't out. walk. You just They're can't right. walk yeah. on, in on campus. You know, you have to have that admission ticket. You got it. Yeah. Okay. So for the processional. All right. So uh, those are the times. What about so? What about this thing? Like, what are you recommending for people for travel? Are you like? Do you, have you discouraged people? from driving or anything no. or is everybody on their own to figure free. out what they're going to do parking is free it's on the commencement website people do not what are you saying you're saying you're saying i could park on, at the college on queen's college campus faculty and staff and vip guests can park in queen's college the day of it's so free. i can drive you can drive oh my gosh yeah. this is going to change everything so what i recommend is that people carpool together Oh, now you're talking. Well, well I'll, I'll certainly be taking people with me. I don't know if anybody will come with. I don't know if I'll be bringing anyone. I mean, who? The, first of all, you know, like I said, I'm coming in at dawn mm -hmm. from Connecticut. Yeah, but there are know. some fellow fellow marshals that will be coming in, you know, early too. So yeah, well, I, yeah. I would talk to them. I, would, I could pick them up on the way. Yeah. Because nice. I'll probably have to come over the uh, something, some bridge. I wonder if it put me over the Throg's Neck. I've never, or the or the White Stone. I'm like, you know, I'm coming in, you know, you know, I'm coming in on like the Hutch or something like that. But I would I would go the long way to pick up some people. You we, because what are we looking at as far as numbers, as far as committed um, faculty staff? Um, well, the staff don't commit. <laughs> 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 That's the problem. That's the problem. I, have I thought it was the other way around. I thought it was like people, faculty don't come faculty and staff, yeah. About 200 faculty and staff have RSVP'd thus far. But I, wow. Yeah, that's, that's not a lot. Um, it's but not. I expect that people will, you know, wake up and, and, and start RSVPing soon. I'm going to send another notice out. Um, but we do have about 
1,700 grads um, that have ordered their caps and gowns, so more than likely yeah. they will come. And just as, um, you know, some people are, are, you know, making up their minds whether they're coming or not, we expect that to happen with the students also. So there's also going to be a group of students that come at the last minute to pick up a cap and gown. Well, always, right. Here's a question for you. So uh, the folks who did not to get to physically walk in previous years, mm -hmm. are they using now this opportunity to, to do that? I, I, I don't know. I, you know, I just... Because they've moved on, right? Yeah. Like how would they oh, get the information? Oh, you mean, you mean the graduates? Alumni. Yeah. Um, well, alum, uh, fa faculty, staff, alumni march in the procession, okay? We, we have about 200 folks that graduated from LaGuardia, not in 2020, 21. I mean, you know, graduated from LaGuardia. But the class of 2020 and 2021, we weren't inviting to this ceremony. No, really? Yeah. I, I thought they might want to take advantage of uh, Well, some walk. some people, some some students did want, or some, some alumni did want to do that, but I had to worry about this graduating class and the members. Right. We were, limiting, so you think we, were we were limiting, Queens College is limiting each of the graduates to two guest tickets. You know that we normally give them four. So you can imagine the headaches that that's causing. And we can't, like, for instance, when people are, when faculty and staff RSVP to us, okay, we, we've asked people to include their EMPL ID number, and that goes over to the uh, COVID-19 checkers <laughs> and and right. so we're sort of pre-screening making sure that everybody's got cleared for so that you know the 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 entry into queen's college goes smoothly okay so, oh so you're making sure that people who are coming have some record exactly. on file exactly. about having been right. vaccinated but i can't do that for the guests i see. oh right right so we had to limit the number of guests that the students had on top of it and yeah. and queen's college limited their own um graduates to two tickets so it's not like they're treating us any differently they're not um but but there are you know legitimate concerns about you know the spread of covid okay and i'm, I'm guessing that everybody's going to wear masks right it's mask friendly it is an outdoor event we are not social distancing Okay, so people need to decide for themselves whether or not they want to wear a mask. They are certainly welcome to do so. I thought that the CUNY had adopted some. I remember that the chancellor sent out some sort of email about how we're recommend. I don't know what he how it's, he put it, it. It was mostly indoor. This is outdoor, right. so so the regs are different. Um, like you know, right. if you're outdoor, you don't have to social distance. Okay. But if you're, you know, in a vulnerable population, then I'd wear a mask, even if it is on outdoor. Of course. Uh, so the faculty who are in, how, how are we doing for, for marshals and for, you know, the people that all that come in and help out? Um, like the faculty we're doing great. That help. I've, I've, I've got plenty of volunteers for uh, the student processional. Um, you're doing double duty for me. Um, <laughs> I, I thought I was just... Uh, Telling everybody where to put the banners. Or something. Exactly, exactly. You're you're doing double duty. You're you're taking care That's of the, double duty. Well, you're taking care of the faculty and staff processionals. So you'll be in there, to, you know, lining them up for me, as well okay, as so I'll taking be waiting care for them on stage stories. when they show up, right? <laughs> and saying, "Over there, over there." <laughs> I know you always like try to find a job where I can get into the least amount of trouble, yeah, and somehow I still manage I don't want to get a as much trouble as possible. Nowhere near microphones. Nowhere near microphones. That's the only You're not allowed to yeah. tell anybody what to do with their robes <laughs> after the event. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a question for you. I, I've I've got it ear. I've got it in my phone earmarked. Bobby pins <laughs> and safety pins yes. in bulk yes. for. You know the kids at the beginning because they always yeah. you know people the hood is you know right, the hood right. needs, to needs to be bobby just, pins you know popped into and, a, a shirt or something yes and folks always forget bobby mm -hmm. pins to keep their hair back yeah. so should i be bringing my own or do you think you're gonna have enough I, this time I, 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 it's never enough you know that 
if, that's if, the if answer. you could I'm bring some, that's great. But but I will have a supply, and I'll give them out to the marshals. As well, yeah, I usually spread it out. I I, I got like five hundred of each, <laughs> so I figured that's, and we got seventeen hundred. So I'm figuring you're going to bring about as much, and then we don't get to everybody. Yeah, you know? yeah. Half the time they're like, "What are you trying to give me?" They think I'm trying to sell them something. And it's like, no, it's bought, you know. And they go like, "What do I do with that?" And I say, "Well, you gotta the hood. It's choking you, right? You gotta pull it down." Well, and the bot. Nobody has. No, everybody knows when they see the bobby pins. Like, oh. You this know. year there's no hood because what we did was we got a stole that says 50th um, graduating Ooh. class. So there's no hood. They have to keep that. They, yes, that's theirs. Absolutely. That's nice. And for both the students and faculty and staff, we have a 50th anniversary pin. Well, that's sweet. So you're telling me I don't need bobby pins. Uh, well, they might need them to hold the hat onto their head. No, bobby pins. I'm safety saying safety pins. pins. No, no, not so much, no. So I won't no, get, because I'll the hood won't be, won't be an issue. Won't be an issue. So maybe I'll just double up on the bobby pins. Yeah. Show up with a 1,000. <laughs> No, that's not. That's a, that's, a, that's a high. Well, yeah. If you figure out that half the population is female, mm -hmm. and typically will use them, the, the guys don't use them even if they need them. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. Well, I'll get five hundred. I'm sure you'll get the other five. No worries. I got it. Uh, so let's. So so, and that will be preparing them in the back. Uh, who we who are we expecting this year? Should I've read the website. Well, this is it's always okay. this is re, this is reaffirm. You know, we're 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 you know we're the you know people need to learn different ways. Yeah. People learn electronically, okay. verbally. So tell me, who are we expecting uh, as our guest for this? The president event? is coming and delivering greetings. Um, our keynote speaker is Myra uh, Linares Garz Linares something or other. She's she's a uh, a one of our trustees. trustees. Yeah, she's one of the yeah, younger. She's on trustees. student affairs with me. I'm going to see her tonight. Yeah, yeah. Well, she um, she's very excited about being the keynote. Um, our class speaker is um, uh, Talha Ahmed, um, and he is a business administration major and came to this country about five years ago. Um, with his family seeking um, asylum from uh, political persecution in Bangladesh. Um, wow. Yeah. And then our alumni speaker is uh, Leili Nurmani. And she um, uh, was a victim of human trafficking. Um, she oh came to this country in servitude. Um, Unbelievable. Finally escaped. Um, and literally rebuilt herself from scratch. So some very interesting speakers, um, you know, and, you know. Any other, any other trustees coming? Um, well, the chancellor is coming. Um, Oof! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, you know, um, and no, no other trustees, no other trustees. Just my well, that's, no, that's pretty big. Yeah. You got a, a trustee speaker and you've got, the chancellor. Yeah. That's that's pretty good. Yeah, not bad. We, and and you know that we always try to keep the number of speakers low, right? Yeah. So that you know the ceremony is about just two hours long. Yeah, it's quick. By the way, it's three twenty nine. I just want to do a quick uh, station break. You're watching what's going on. I'm your host Hugo Fernandez, and my guest today is the commencement coordinator and director of event services and facility rentals, Anita Rivas, and she's on to discuss the plans and prep preparations for the 2022 commencement. Yes, I've always, you know, it's like I want to say sometimes to these folks is like, you know how every commencement, like the, the speakers always have like, let me give you some advice, and they have like 10 things <laughs> And you can't remember. And I'm like, you know, two things, three things tops. Remember, maybe three things, you know, because ten things. I got, I got, you know, I don't know if they're gonna remember ten things. Oh, but, it's gonna yeah. remember ten things. Everybody's got their thing. One or two, yes. So let's talk about run of show mm -hmm. because that's always people always want to know. And I, I mean, I know you're gonna have uh, that mat that material available in the, the handouts and stuff like that. So how does how does run of show work? Is it going to be? Are we going to have pop and circ pomp and circumstance as all the 
the students walk in? Yes, yes, that's going to be playing playing on the speakers. Um, so the students will march in. We're going to have the commencement marshals, the microphone marshals, in the in in uh, waiting for the students. So each student will say his or her name, and as they walk as in, as they walk in, absolutely. Um, so that you know their families can see them and they're walking right through the audience members so that you know hopefully that that as well, yeah. are, are we get oh so are we going to have big screens no, no. no big no screens big screen. so they'll, all the, they'll just hear the they'll voice they'll just hear the voice yeah who's who's the uh, marshal that's going to be in charge of uh, have you got santos on that duty uh -huh. who's no your... santo santo uh, uh is is not coming um oh. he, uh, he couldn't he it's too difficult for him, given uh, Louis Luca's uh, a recent. Well, well the, you know, when we were planning, because you weren't listening to the, but in 2019, mm -hmm. it it announces, you know, Carmen, who was doing the announcement, uh, says the processional led by mm -hmm. Louis Luca, yeah. but we don't see him on the screen. But you know, yeah. he was yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, we'll still do that, but it won't it won't be Louis. So th this is. Um, so who's doing it then? Um, it, uh, who's handling the mics? The, the um, Jill Kehoe. Well, the mic will be. Um, wait a minute. Okay, I'm not sure who who the announcer is. Is a Carmen. Okay, that's. that's no, no, Carmen's always. But, I'm not talking the, about who's but handling the, the microphones. The students will be who's handling. Hold, who's who's holding the, the mics? Um, <laughs> yeah, because it's, you know it's what Alex happens. Rojas and Kyoko Toyama are the team leaders on that, and we oh. have eight marshals. Working and, and, and Alex is seasoned. Yeah. By the way, I just want to Alex and Kiyoko record. are both seasoned. And the, the by year the that we ran out of wallets, okay, <laughs> the year we ran out of commencement wallets, it was Alex that was goading me to go up and tell everybody. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I, that, let, that, let, let's get that right out here okay. now. Oh, okay. but, but Alex says she has history with the mics, so she'll know because we know the problem is always the students grab the mics right. and they want to say some things mm -hmm. yeah. whatever those are yeah. and that can eat up a lot of time yeah yeah no well hopefully that will not happen we have um you know two very <laughs> experienced people on there charles keys is another microphone marshal oh very good um, yeah yeah so we've got did some experienced folks did he sign up for coming out on the ninth as well because i understand that he uh, he was asking me when i was coming no 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 he hasn't okay. he'll be on his own to get out there get the lay of the land all right so 1700 students walk in mm -hmm. announcing their own names sit down mm -hmm. then and the, come the, the faculty and staff and alumni march in so the faculty which we saw the opening come in and then the last to come in is the president's platform party all right so they're they're, so they're, they're the two front rows of the but so everybody's going to be up on stage yes. like that year covered stage what what are our thoughts? What happens if it rains? Um, if it's well, on Monday we'll make the decision. Like if it calls for thunderstorms and lightning and heavy winds, then we have to cancel, and that's unfortunate. But if it's just rain showers, we're going to proceed no matter what. So umbrellas, no umbrellas. And wet. Don't bring umbrellas. They're not allowed on the quad. Bring a. a uh, a raincoat. <laughs> a raincoat. A raincoat. Yeah. I've got my, you know, I still got my rain gear from when Scott and I went to Chile in 2013. Well, break, break that out, dear. Break it's wearing out. I would have it like underneath where it, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. I was thinking, so, th so, okay, so everybody comes on stage. We've got the readings, I mean, the, the various right. folks right. speaking. Mm -hmm. Uh, what else happens then after after processionals? Mm -hmm. The the run of show is what is that like a half an hour of it's, of it's about an hour ceremony. Like about once an, we start, once everybody's on the stage, um, right. Nicole Fernandez is 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 the grand marshal, so she'll open the ceremony. Um, she'll be carrying the chest. Yeah, she'll be uh, carrying the mace. Oh, sorry, the mace. The mace. Sorry, carrying the mace. <laughs> Um, and uh, so she'll open the ceremony. Then uh, Faye Butler is going to be the mistress of ceremony, so she'll do the introductions. Um, and uh, that's it. She'll introduce all the speakers. And all right. 
so so the one out one hour of of stage things happening yeah. yeah so and how does it what's the what's the finale then how does it what happens the after finale all the is um uh provost arcario will ask all of the graduates by their um degree to stand up and the president will confirm will confer their degrees, degrees. so yeah. they'll, they'll stand up individually okay in, right. in, in in the row and then uh sit down and then uh the recessional like once he's through all of that um the recessional will start and the president leads the, the platform party off of the stage the president is going to come back and take pictures with the graduates but literally the oh, ceremony is over at that point are you going to have the uh those backdrops again the, yeah, uh, the, the constructed the, things the, the step and repeat yeah I, I remember I had gotten some, uh, I got on, on that duty one year. Yeah, I, I don't know how. <laughs> I hold, there was a high wind. It was like, what and I was like, here, these, hold this. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to hold that through, I don't know how many, whatever number yeah. of. Uh, yeah, well, well uh, what I'm going to do is, is, is lean it against the stage um, all right, all right. so that it's less likely to keel over and I don't have to have somebody holding it. But uh, that's yeah, smart. that's the plan. That's the plan. Because it gets windy. Um, Queens College, like the quad is up on a hill. You don't realize that, but it's literally up on a hill. So it, it does get windy up there. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's funny because I just remembered it's a big, like a big open space in the middle of the, of it. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. I thought I muted something or something like that. I have a bizarre setup. So if it, so if it's so if it's a one hour if recessional, so it's nine o'clock. We one start hour, at so we're looking at the student processional starts at nine thirty. Okay. So you think and, so we'll be done and, by one? Oh uh, yeah, I do. I do. And then it's every person for themselves. Every person for themselves, yes. As far as exiting mm -hmm. the facility, right. and there'll be no post <laughs> meals. There'll be no <laughs> post meals. I I do plan to have. Uh, thank you, uh, reception Luncheon. for the volunteers and the marshals on campus. Yeah, I was going to say, we yes. usually get together yeah. and yeah. Each, and that's the debriefing too. Exactly. What, what would we exactly. You got to pay for your meal. So you got to tell me what went well and what didn't work. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's interesting because I had, you know, I did Paul's exit interview today at one o'clock, mm -hmm. and Paul was telling me that in the old days, they always used to do it at Queens College. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The, and I know that we there were a number we of changed. graduations at Queens College, and then you know that that, that sort of changed um, because we outgrew. We used to do it in Colton Center, and that seats about twenty two thousand or twenty five hundred people, and we outgrew it. So right. then we went to Madison Square Garden. Right, because we're, we're so we're talking seventy hundred graduates plus families, mm -hmm. so that's it's about. 10, people. 5,100 and then all of us. Yeah, 6,000 people. Yeah. So it's amazing we get us all in that opening quad. Yeah. Well, um, when we had it there in 2016, okay, we had 10,000 seats, but that was, you know, prior to COVID. Um, I and I, we didn't even, they didn't even have us require people to bring tickets. So, you know, students had carte blanche to invite every family member in, you know, that they right. had because you could stand along the quad. And in I the remember that. You know, and it, it wasn't an issue. Um, you know, COVID has really done a number on, on everything. All right. So, it sounds, yeah, it sounds figured out. No, we try. Yeah. I mean, are, are you already planning for next year? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, are we going to keep? Are we going to keep doing Queens College for the foreseeable yeah, future? Yeah, we may. We may. Um, I, I, once I get all the bills, I'll know. Um, you know, and can recommend to 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 uh, the president and and uh, the executive council. Uh, you know, whether we should proceed or not. Um, but the idea of going to Queens College is to lower our costs. Um, right. A place yes. like Barclays cost us in excess of two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, all told. Um, wow. And you know, 
the price of everything has gone up. So I, you know, Inflation. I'm thinking it's it's probably even more, um, you know, yeah. this year. Um, so doing it at Queens College, which is a sister institution, and they can't charge us a rental. <laughs> okay. Um, but they, they can charge us for, for, for security and housekeeping and, you know, all those labor costs and equipment and things like that. But I, you know, I, I imagine that that's going to be much less than, than, you know, labor costs me at Barclays or Madison Square Garden, any of those venues. Um, and the truly large costs are for the tent company. You know, all the chairs, the stage, uh, the various tents that you use, a sound company, that that's coming in pretty hefty. You know? yeah. So I don't know that and, we're going to be saving a tremendous amount of money, but, you know, I have to see the total cost before I can say that. So I obviously the students pay for this, but how does it? Where does it where does it come from? Is it student activity fees or um, it comes, graduate? It, 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 a very small portion comes from student activity fees. Okay, um, there there is a commencement account there, but I, I believe that's limited to, limited to about thirty thousand dollars. The rest comes from offset, which is like all of the like Auxiliary. my rentals, my rentals. Okay, right. So the money that I raise renting the college. Um, goes in there. The bookstore, the the commissions on the bookstore, commissions on 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 um, parking lots, the parking lot, all yeah. of that. That 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 you know um, is is where the money from Waxent comes from. So there is a commencement account, and the bulk of the money comes from Waxent. Who knew? Mm -hmm. That's 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 good to know. Yeah. <laughs> and we still keep a nice balance. Yeah. When it's all said and done. Yeah, we try. <laughs> so, uh, we, you know, it's I was again watching the, the thing. It's you know, it brings it all kind of back. Uh, the last two years, we didn't. I guess since we weren't bringing anything from auxiliary anyway. Were there any costs when we did the whole thing? No, online. No, absolutely no costs because it was all our labor. It was all right. House, right? It, it was marketings, um, videographers, and all of that. So, so there, there was no cost. So we saved all, all that money, but we weren't bringing in any money from <laughs> auxiliary anyway, because <laughs> nobody was parking or buying anything. No. As it is now, I can barely get find a vending machine that's got anything I want in it. But still. Yeah, yeah. There, there's all sorts of like shipping delays and and whatever. I. Um, as chair of campus affairs, I've been asked to look into why there's no food in the vending machines. So, you know, like we, we've been on top of the. Um, um, well, like my guess would be, they, I remember the guy who used to fill it up, and he was busy. I'd see him every other day in front of the same machine mm -hmm. when when we were at our height pre-pandemic. Right. But I don't see that guy anymore. Nope. I've. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> They're having supply runs, you know, um, not 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 getting, you know, the stuff that they ordered in on time. Um, it's it's not like we're not on top of them. I mean, because I I checked with the business office who runs um, um, the vending, um, and you know, uh, it's it's literally a question of demand, you know, high demand and and not getting stuff in. And I think there's also some machines that are having other issues, Wi-Fi, mm -hmm. other stuff. I mean, I'm a vending machine aficionado. I know I'm like a field tester. The C building's got a lot of vending machine stuff going on, but anyhow, so we've touched a lot of bases on it, and we've got we're at the last quarter hour. I usually use when I have guests on, we talk about the future. Mm -hmm. And but like I've said before, I guess you're already planning. We're looking at Queens College. For the foreseeable future, yeah. uh, but you know, I well, mean, I, well, what, I what would, would take like, us off what that? I would love is is to find yeah. a home. I mean, I thought we had found Barclays as a home, and then uh, COVID changed that completely for wow. us. You know, because um, there's something to be said of getting the community acclimated to a certain space, and so you know, you don't have to be retraining. Well, that's the thing. Every year, I remember like all the different places we've yeah. been to, 
And it's kind of fun. You could say, like, I was, you know, I was on the yeah. stage at Radio City Music Hall. And I was on the stage you know, at Lincoln Center Square. in Madison Square Garden. Yeah, I was in Madison Garden. Square Garden. Yeah. And, yeah. and I, you know, I've been on the floor of the Barclays Center. But, but yeah, it is. Every time, you know, we kind of, and, you know, this. There's a learning curve that happens. Getting used to, like, which entrance to use, where to go, what to do, you know. Um, I remember when we were, what, when we were doing the Javits. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we had to go all the way to like the river practically. Yeah. right there, it's you're basically between whatever it is, twelfth and the and the West Side Highway yeah. or whatever it is, and uh, and that was always like a schlep and a half, you know. And, yeah, and, for everybody. And, yeah. And going there before, and it was dawn. You know, you're walking through <laughs> <laughs> whatever Hell's Kitchen. Yes. At you know, and if the weather was bad, you know, no light, but. Uh, so if if you had so if you if you could choose a venue mm-hmm. to for us to have our home, you'd go back to Barclay. In a minute, really? Uh, only because it, of all the bells and whistles, um, you know that jumbotron, um, the 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 screen that goes around the arena that you could put LaGuardia Community College, you could put messages on there, um, you know the fact that you know it. Literally, you know, 20,000 seats, you know, we're not going to outgrow it anytime soon. Um, and, and that's an issue because, um, you know, our students have extended families and they want to celebrate with them. And if you have to limit the number of tickets that you give to the students, it just, you know, it breaks my heart. It, it really does. I mean, I've been inundated with requests from students. I don't know how they find me, but they find me. <laughs> and, um, you know, I, I really feel bad, but there's nothing I can do about it, you know. Right. One, one student is not any, you know, their their situation is not any different from another. So I can't, you know, I, I literally can't say, okay, I'm going to give you and not you. You know, I'm just going to. Yeah. Well, you say, you tell them, find somebody who's not using their tickets. <laughs> there right? we go. When there's only two there tickets. We there we go. When there's only two tickets. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, hard. it's really hard for our students. They, you know, they're, 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 they, they have extended families and, you know, lots of times they're the, they're the only one. They, this graduation is the only graduation they've ever attended. So they don't know, like, you know, NYU only gives you two tickets, sometimes one, you know. So they don't know that. They don't know right. that, that commencements are limited. Okay? Yeah. And, and, and they want their family to be able to see them graduate. Will we be simulcasting? Um, we will be live stream. Um, we actually can't, um, but it will be on YouTube in a couple of days. Oh, there's that. Yeah. What, was it just because we don't have the staff to make that we happen? We don't have the staff or the equipment to make that happen, and neither does Queens College, who's actually doing the filming for us. So what we're going to do is, uh, is is um, uh, someone from um, marketing and communications is going to film the students as they march in and say their names, and then we're going to cut that into the film of the entire ceremony that Queens College will do for us, and so that'll be on YouTube. All right, because I could talk to you know, I got Jamie and Chris. I could have them at least stream audio <laughs> 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 or set. You have to put Chris in the front with the. Uh, with uh, the, the the laptop, yeah. and he can shoot from the from the in front of the stage. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I don't know if he's prepared to do that. I don't, I don't even know if we get, we have him on the clock. Mm-hmm. That's because that that falls between sessions. So I don't know if we can get away with that. Jamie Jamie's listening, uh, so she could probably give me the answer to that uh, if she chose to. But otherwise, you know, for it's as far as as far as venues, if you want my opinion too, is. Uh, they're all quirky and, and interesting. Uh, but, you know, the Barclay was good for us because we had, you know, as far as you, you had that lounge mm-hmm. where we all hung out at yeah. for, you know, breakfast. And we never went through all the breakfast treats anyway. There was always some juice or something left over. Uh, but then afterwards, you're on Flatbush Avenue. You know, you're in the, the heart of, you know, Fort Greene is right there. And so faculty who do have, uh, you know, communities that are, coming on like the english department Mm -hmm. you know you can meet them and we can all gather we've i think we've done that in the past a lot of people yeah um you know 
they, they, they get together afterwards, which is, which is really, really right. nice. Yeah. I don't know if we got that. I mean, short of going to Flushing, I don't know if that's going to be an option for now that I know I can drive, though. Uh, you know, I've got there's a couple of people. Of, from there's Florida. lots of restaurants in Flushing. Lots of. Them. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying yeah. is that you can go to Flushing. Yeah. Uh, and great restaurants. Yeah. And uh, but I think I'm going to be taking some folks to Rockaway. We're going to go. We're going to we're going to do some sort of tie. Uh, We've been promising to. We're celebrating uh, Lydia Khan, who is one of our people in the photo area. Mm-hmm. Where she graduated and celebrating a few different things. So oh, we're going to take her for special. Hey. Yeah, so it's good to know that I can drive the car there. Yeah. I'm just gonna have to figure out when I leave. Mm-hmm. All right. So, if you if you had what 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 other messages would you like to share with the community? Uh, we've got about four minutes left. If I people think would most- really really RSVP, that would be such a tremendous help because I still don't know if we're gonna fill the stage or not. Okay. Um, you know, and I and you know I. I hate paying for chairs that I don't need. Um, <laughs> I thought you just liked having a lot of people. Th- that too, but you know, when you when you pay for every seat. <laughs> really? What do we pay a chair? What's what does it cost per chair? Uh, it, you know. Whatever. It's, it's something. It's a, I could move around a lot. Like after I tell people where to put their stuff, no, I can sit no, in different places. No, no, no. I mean, I mean, a person in every seat. You know, I, I, I want the stage full and, right. and I don't quite have that yet. You know? And, and it, would, it would help to know, you know, to plan, yeah. to give the caterer a number. It'd be nice. You know, I don't, yeah. I don't want the last, I don't want the people arriving at nine not to have any food. Well, there's that too. You know, like I said, I started doing, I think I started doing commencement even, I think even before I was full time for whatever reason, I decided, let me go one year. And, and, uh, you know, I don't think I even went, I don't think I went to my own community college graduation as I remembered, but one of the things I did learn from the experience, and I try to share that when I ask people if they come along is that our students, the first thing is from my perspective is the fact that, you know, I realized that they actually graduate that these kids that you've been working with and you see around the college will eventually succeed, get their degree and they're moving on, you know, and that's good to know because sometimes, you know, you feel, you you wonder if you're making an impact (laughs) (laughs) to be honest. Right. Right. But the other piece of it is those students who, you know, they've been through the place. Some of them have been working with those faculty through the entire two year experience or longer. And, uh, it would be nice on that day, you know, that they're experiencing that, that they would see that person and, you know, yes. say thank you, whatever it is, or Stu- congratulate I, I have always one. found that students, when they see their professors dressed up in their regalia, it is, well, for me, it's an impressive sight, just watching the, 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 the faculty process in. It's just impressive. But that's who the students, Students want to see. Oh, there's my professor, and they're you know they're they're calling out to to to, to right. teachers. It's important to them. It's totally. really important to them. Um, and and the happiest students I've ever seen are are those that that recognize their their professor walking down the aisle, um, and say you know and, and they're chatting to each other. That's my professor. Or yeah, I think pictures with them after the ceremony. Yeah. You know. That, that, that is so meaningful to them. I think it's important. Yeah. That's why I go. So today, uh, you've been watching what's going on. Uh, my guest today has been our commencement coordinator and director of event services and facilities rentals, Anita Rivas. We've been talking about the plans and preparations for the 2022 uh, commencement here at LaGuardia Community College, which will happen at Queens College on June 21st. Be there with your robes your ticket, your CDC card, or cleared for, or ID, uh, you know, with bells on. Yes, yes. Thanks for all you, all the, oh. thanks for all the work you do to make this come off, and thanks for being on the show. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you very much. All right, and we'll, we'll close out the show as we came in with uh, 
you know, what happens the, the minute after Paul tells everybody to, to move their tassel, whatever it is, <laughs> to the left or the right. Thanks for watching. Thanks for looking, uh, for listening. <laughs> Take us out, Mr. Pope. Bye-bye.